Kenyans mark the 29th anniversary of the Saba Saba Day that ushered in multi-party democracy. Now, as we remember the men and women who sacrificed greatly for the widening of the democratic space in the country, now join our reporters, our senior reporter, Enok Sekolia, who is attending the celebrations at Kamukunji grounds. Enok, paint the picture for us. What is happening? What are some of the sentiments where you are? Well, Willis, uh, as you put it clear, this is Kamkunji. Kamkunji, uh, it's in the history of Kenya. When you remember the history of Kenya, you remember about multi-party democracy and the fight against imperialism when you're talking about the Kanu regime under the retired president, Daniel Arap Moed. Now, this, is, this venue here in the early 90s was a battlefield. And in 1997, um, just marking when uh, Kenyans were fighting to have increased uh, democracy, Space. Uh, this place was a battlefield between um, Kenyans uh, agitating for uh, democracy, increased democracy, and multi party democracy when we were talking about the early 1990s, uh, and versus the police. And today, here, uh, the let's say civil society and especially social justice organizations are just grouping here, the meeting here, talking about uh, social justice, talking about uh, police brutality and just how um, the fight against police brutality and killings uh, has been um, has had several challenges uh, and today there are quite a number behind me, uh, it's the tent here, uh, several organizations from Madare, from Dandora, from Majengo, uh, from areas within Nairobi where they claim that uh, the cases of police brutality is on the rise and now I'm joined joined by um, this lady here, as you can see, uh, she has a poster here, that is her son on the poster, uh, was killed last year, that is, not last year, but 2017, uh, that is uh, just slightly after the general election, and there was um, police uh, exchanges between the police and the youth uh, in Madare 4 area, and now she says that up to today, she's yet to receive justice, and, and uh, nothing Thing is forthcoming. Uh, Karibu kwa runinga ya citizen ya mbeo naitwa nani? Uh, Mimi naitwa Mama Victor. Hiyo ndio jina najulikana nayo. Uh. Na labda utueleze tu tangu mwaka wa 2017 labda utueleze juhudi za kutafuta haki kwa mtoto wako zimekuwa vipi? Uh, juhudi za kutafuta haki ya watoto wangu si mmoja ni watoto wawili. Victor na Bernard. Nijafua um, dafu kwa sababu tumepeleka kesi haipoa haipoa anasema kesi imeenda kwa DPP mpaka saa hii hatujapata kitu chochote na wale watu wale wote wale ambao walihumia hata uh, watoto wale ambao walipigwa marisasi wale walipigwa na tear gas na wale waliuliwa madhara foe hakuna mtu yule ambao ashapata justice na labda utueleze uh, saa hizi uliandikisha ripoti kwa ulipiga ripoti kwa polisi na chochote kimeweza kufanyika kwa polisi tulipiga ripoti tukapewa permit uh, matanga tukafanya kawaida lakini kwa vile ilikuwa ni hali ngumu ile ambao hakukuwa na watu wa kujitokeza kuchanga pesa ilibidi watoto wamalize mwezi mzima kwa mochar na hakukuwa na mtu yoyote yule alijitokezea wanasiasa ama nini Wila alinisaidia kubeba mila ala kulipa agarama ya Moshar nikipeleka nyumbani. Na labda ukitueleza tu uh, kipi kinakuuma sana wakati huu tunajua kwamba ulipoteza muza, ulipoteza watoto wawili na labda ni unaona kwamba juhudi za kupata haki katika Kenya hii ni ngumu uh, kwa kila mtu ama ni kwa watu ambao uh, labda wan, wana ugumu fulani. Ah uh, kile kinachoniuma sana kwa hii nchi yetu ya Kenya kwa sababu hii nchi yetu ya Kenya na naweza kusema kama iko na upendeleo imependelea pande nyingine pande nyingine hapana sababu kama watu wa kutoka ghetto naona kama wajashughulikiwa hata kesi kiwapata ama nini kiwapata hawaangaliwi kama watu lakini kama ingelikuwa ni watu wa kutoka Runda ninajua wangekuwa shashughulikiwa na cha pili hawa hawakuwa watoto walikuwa ni watu wale ambao walikuwa na familia zao walikuwa na bibi na watoto wawili na wasasa pole sana mama uh, as you've had that is uh, 
uh, this lady here saying that it's now more than two years uh, and, and nothing has been forthcoming in terms of uh, getting justice for her two sons who were killed in the hands of police and so she's just here among the people who have come here in protest and they maintain that uh, in the actual sense uh, things have to change they want things to change so that uh, issues of police brutality and killings um, get uh, like get done with